here is your first look at the Nike SB in the Civilist colorway. Just looks like a normal black shoe right now. Wait until later. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an unboxing of something that I did not expect to get. So this sneaker released a couple of days ago and then a flash raffle appeared on Slam City and I entered it and they do something pretty clever. They limit the number of people that can enter for each size. So I entered for a size and luckily I got in, didn't get any confirmation or anything like that. And then the next day got a text from DPD saying I was getting a parcel. I haven't ordered anything else from that site, so I'm assuming it's them. I haven't unboxed this, as you can see, it's completely taped up. So, could be something else, I guess, but we'll find out in this unboxing. And you can probably tell by the title of this video what the shoe is. So we will unbox this. Hopefully don't damage the shoe, because I'm really bad at this. Really should be better at this by now. Oh, I'm just gonna rip it. So that was probably the worst unboxing I've ever done. Oh well. Ooh. Here are the shoes. Obviously it comes with the receipt and everything, but I'm not gonna show you that because it has my address on it. So I'll move the box to the side. And here is the Nike SB box. Obviously it has the colorful design as well. Got quite a few of these now. And the label says Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS Black Black Black. As we know, this is not entirely a black shoe. So here's a close look at the label for you. Hopefully it focuses, but it probably won't. Are you ready for this? So we'll open it up. Here is your first look at the Nike SB in the Civilist colorway. Just looks like a normal black shoe right now. Wait until later. So here is the Nike SB Civilist. What do you think of this shoe? Let me know down below in the comments. It is practically just a black SB. However, it does have a hidden secret, which I will show you later. And the hint is, just look at the spare laces. They come with a kind of turquoise blue color a red, which actually kind of looks a bit orange in certain lightings, and then a yellow one as well. And that kind of gives a hint as to what is so special about these shoes. We have the Nike SB in an all black colorway, black laces already laced up, then it has the Nike SB label on the tongue with a yellow swoosh. Then the lower part of the sole is white, and the under part of the sole is a black tread. The leather does feel incredibly stiff, but I think that's because of the specific material that they've used does actually change color. So I will show you that in a second. A nice little cool feature that they have added is on the inside, if I can get it out. Meh. And that is the insole. The insole is absolutely wicked. And that's so cool. Look at the different colors they use. You do the smiley face here, it says Civilist and then Nike SB on the bottom. That's a pretty cool insole as insoles go. And it's incredibly padded, has that cushioned heel counter and then at the front as well. Pretty cool. If we spin the shoe around to the back, we have the Nike embroidered on the back in white, stands out against the black leather as well. And as I'm holding this, I'm not sure if it's gonna show up, but my hands are pretty warm and it's actually making the material change color without me even doing anything to it. So that is just showing you how reactive that these shoes are. So now is the moment that you've probably all been waiting for and probably the reason that you've actually tuned into this review and it's because they are gonna change color now. So I do have a hairdryer right here, and I'm now gonna start heating up the shoes and you can see how the actual material reacts and changes color. Are you ready for this? Sorry about the noise. How cool is that? So that is the difference right there. Wow, that is pretty cool indeed, I think. Shout out to Nike Civilist for actually creating something as cool as that. And I 
oh, just, I'd love to see photos of this actually, people wearing them and seeing what kind of colors they actually create out of just natural heat and actually out of the natural change that will occur when wearing this shoe. I think it will look really, really cool. So I managed to cop these in a UK nine and a half. When I went on the site, the nine raffle was already gone. So these are half size too big. So I probably will sell these at some point. However, the price is really, really high. So I'll show you this right here. This is the StockX price. And as you can see, they are incredibly high at the moment. I'm not sure if they will go up, so I might keep them for a little bit just to see how the prices fluctuate. And then I probably will be getting rid of these, hopefully to somebody who actually wants to wear them. But yeah, these are a very, very cool shoe and very, very unique indeed. I would love to see Nike do something like this on maybe a Jordan 1 or even different types of sneakers that they own. But yeah, very cool design. And this was just a short review. I will now just show you some footage of the shoes. But yeah, please subscribe, please like the video. It does help the channel grow, helps me get sneakers all the time, which I actually love doing. Helps me review them, compare them just like this. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.